Alright guys, what's the crack wives column and this is the Jim and Jay series where we're trying to strike the balance between both and get the most out of both. If you haven't watched the first two videos, I just strongly recommend you go watch those first. It'll give you an idea of what we're talking about in this video. And in this video we are talking about splits or how to organize your workouts based on how many times per week you're getting into the gym. First of all, let's talk through some principles and then we're just going to apply those principles to the actual workout routines. So the first principle that we want to talk about is volume and the amount of almost frequency that we're hitting on each body part. So if I was to take legs and upper body as the two body parts we're talking about, we want to hit those at least twice per week. If you're only hitting those once per week, you can get more out of doing it twice per week. You can probably go to three times per week in certain cases as well, but you need to try and strike the balance between you know doing your weight training and also trying to improve performance on the pitch. So. First principle is your body can take two sessions per week easily. You should be doing two sessions per week in each muscle group to get the most out of it. And the next principle that we want to talk about is balancing that with your pitch training and your performance so that the split doesn't actually hurt what we're doing out on the pitch. So when I'm talking about these splits and these routines, I want you to apply them to pre-season uh, and in some cases mid-season and also definitely the off-season. But these don't apply to championship time. So a couple of weeks leading up to championship and a few weeks during championship, this kind of this video really doesn't apply to those. So I'll do a separate video to talk about that championship time and what you should do during then. Again, just going back to uh, the whole balance between gym and GA, and with this again is our third principle. Um, we want to focus with our split as a whole. We want to focus on you know. We don't want to do too much here in the gym that will negatively affect what we do on the pitch because what we do in the gym can really benefit what we do in the pitch. But if we go overboard here in the gym, if we get our split wrong, it can affect what we do in the pitch. What we do in the pitch never really improves dramatically what we do in the gym. So you know, we're not going to talk about the other way. We're going to talk about what the gym can do for the pitch and how to control that and how to make sure that doesn't go overboard. So, I'm going to go through the routines and I'm going to talk you through splits based on how many days per week you can get into the gym. Based on, you know, well, I hope anyway, everyone that's watching this video content is getting to the gym at least twice per week and I'm guessing people are. So I'm going to start off with twice per week. If you're doing two sessions per week, full body session on each day. So um, with those full body sessions, they might just be arranged slightly differently. There might be more of an emphasis on a squat pattern the first day and then more of an emphasis on a deadlift pattern the second day. And the first day you might have an overhead press and a pull down movement and the second day you might have a bench press and a row movement but ultimately you need to be doing a full body session on both those days for three sessions per week you have a choice you can get away with an upper lower upper lower and cycle it that way you'll get two upper body sessions in and one lower body session in one week and then the opposite the next week and you can kind of get away with that and sometimes that can be really beneficial in the middle of a heavy training block on the pitch another split you can do three days per week is full body session each day you could also do two full body sessions and an upper body session. You can also split your full body days up into one day with more lower body emphasis, one day with more upper body emphasis, and one day then with just an even emphasis on both. Moving on then to four days per week, a very simple split for four days per week is upper, lower, upper, lower. One day you do all upper body, one day you do all legs and switch it up. Your two upper body sessions should probably look a little bit different on that split. So one day should have more of an emphasis on a heavier bench press and row movements and the other day should have more of an emphasis on a heavier overhead press and pull down movements whilst your leg days can do the same thing one can have a heavier emphasis on squats which might be the first movement and one can have a heavier emphasis on deadlifts or RDLs which might be the first movement on the second lower body day five days per week you get a little bit more options here you can go upper lower upper lower and just keep cycling that way you can also go with a push pull legs which you'll probably get away with which would be legs one day, pressing movements, so bench press and overhead press movements, and then the next day will be pull movements, so dumbbell row movements, barbell row movements, and pull-ups. So those will be chest and triceps, back and bicep days, and then leg days and cycling that way. On six days per week, you really wanna go for that push-pull leg split where you do legs one day, you do Pressing movements, so chest and triceps another day, and you do rowing movements, back and biceps the third day, and then cycle it that way. 
So there is a very quick overview from two to six days per week. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll actually put together some sample programs for this, rather than talking you through, you know, this is the reason for all this stuff, and this is the reason you should have the variety within the exercises, and you know, we're emphasizing hamstrings more on this day, and quads more on that day, and, and vice versa. I'll just actually just put them together, and I'll put them somewhere on the Facebook page, okay? So the Facebook page is Gym and GAA. It's a private group, so you will have to request to be added to it you will have to send me a message to be added to it so i'll actually you know the details will be there so just go find the page and you'll figure out how to get onto it and you'll be able to find all the programs there um from there really that's kind of the basics okay so like getting your split right is is the absolute basics if you and if you don't do the basics right like if you this is so true for everything in life almost but if you don't do those basics right you are really really not totally wasting your time, but you're definitely wasting some time. And this series is again, is all about kind of getting the most out of your time in the gym and getting the most out of your time in the pitch so you can be the best you can be at both. Um, okay, so with regard to, if we were to add another layer to this conversation and think about it in a, in a different light, we can also talk about you know what are we focusing on within each session? Are we focusing on hypertrophy or are we focusing on strength or are we focusing on power? Uh, and that kind of leads me on to you know what we would might do in the middle of championship. So um, which we'll we'll cover a little bit more detail in the next video. So in the middle of championship, we want to focus way more on power. In the preseason, off season, you want to focus on strength and hypertrophy. If you're looking to kind of get bigger and get stronger anyway, in general, you want to be doing strength and hypertrophy. So. Uh, for now, what I'm actually going to do with all those programs is I'm just going to make them, um, you know, strength and hypertrophy based. They're not going to be power based. Uh, they're not going to be again ideal for building an athlete. So if you're pure, if you don't care about aesthetics or if you don't care about getting bigger, faster, stronger. Um, you know, this isn't the right, right program for you. If you're purely focused on only being like the best hurler or footballer you can be, probably not the right programs for you. Uh, but again, you know, you should have a specific program if that's your goal. Uh, but if you're someone who wants to try, again, get the best out of both worlds, then these will be appropriate. Uh, there will be some quote unquote bodybuilder style movements as an example, bicep curls and tricep press downs. A GA player would rarely have bicep curls and uh, tricep press downs in their training program because you don't really need them for uh, for improving your performance on the pitch. So just take these at the programs with that grain of salt, knowing that they're for uh, people who are looking to do a bit of both. In the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, planning out your entire year and where those programs actually sit in that entire year and what your time then in championship should look like. Again, that'll be a separate video, the championship video, but what your time in championship will look like in comparison to what it'll look like um, when say off season or mid season so i want to thank you for watching this video do let the boys know and lads in your team put it up on the whatsapp group if you want to get your hands in these programs again you're going to have to join the facebook page uh, i've no problem answering any questions or doing any additional content that people want to see just let me know and uh, you can find me on social media and coach column again thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one Slan.